Hey everyone, this is Wei and thanks for joining me here once again. Um, for this video, I'm going to be doing a portrait of a uh, subscriber and also a Facebook follower. And I'll be using a 4B pencil, so it will go relatively quick. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this face. And first off, what I'm going to do is going to do a little line just to match the tilt of the head from eye to eye. And then now we're going to go straight down. So right around there, that'll be like the center of the eye. So I'm just going to start off, let's, uh, let's do the eyes. I'm going to draw the left side first because I'm right-handed. So let's do the eyebrow and then the eye. So the beginning is it's always a little bit harder because you, know, you don't have a lot of reference point to go with. So, but you gotta start somewhere. Okay, so right around there. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the other eye and the space between the eye is usually the width of one eye. So I'm just gonna double that and then... So now I see this line here. Now I know, you know, just roughly the angle. The slant. And... This is a portrait of Kitty, and so one of my subscribers on YouTube, and she's actually a very good uh, portrait artist herself. So, so I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to uh, you know for this portrait. All right, so now I'm gonna measure straight down to, to find where the nose is. So go straight down, and then to get the angle. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find this angle. So, okay, so we'll be right around here. That'll be like the, the edge of the nose. Okay. If I go straight down right around here, that'll be the other side. Let's see. All right, so let's go with that. Let's see. There's a little smile. Let's go straight down and let's find the corner of the mouth. So if you look at the eye, you go straight down. It's kind of right around there. So let's do the smile. Let's see. So this side, we go straight down and right around here. Okay, so that's her lip. And usually expression is a little bit harder to draw because, you know, just because you if you do it wrong, it might actually look a little goofy, so... Let's see her eyes, and her eyes are very big. Okay, now let's rough in the shape of her face a little. And you got a cheek here. Down here is a little bump. And then a chin. How far is the chin? Here to here. So if you double it, that'll be the uh, kind of bottom of the chin, so you double it. So it'll be right around there. All right, let me erase that. Okay, I got a chin. Now where it turns, the jawline. So if we continue the mouth, you go straight across. It's right around there. Right around there, it's gonna start to turn. So now we got the jawline. So the hairline, let's see, this distance, uh, roughly, right around here. Just gonna rough in some of the top of the head. All right, so now we have kind of like the general features roughed in. So now we can go in and you know, shade in some of the features. Now I am using a 4B, so it's nice and quick. Um, it's really good for this kind of sketches because you can hit a lot of area with, with just a few strokes. Let's do the eye. And she's got pretty big eyes. So 
So normally if you make the eyes a little bit bigger for a portrait, um, everything tends to look bigger. I mean, better in you know, a face. Uh, in her case, you know, she actually does have very big eyes. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on to the other eye first. The eyebrow. That. A little highlight shade around it and if you end up losing the highlight it's not a big deal just erase it out all right let's go down to the nose the nostrils here the other one's right there let's move down to the lip so we just shade it in quickly Uh, the corner of her mouth, um, this part is always dark because it's just inside, so you can actually push into it pretty hard. And the bottom of the mouth is always dark. Let's do the cheek. I'm just kind of moving around a little bit. All right, so now we have the general outline of the face. Um, Roughly. Now let's go in and, and do a little bit more shading. And make sure your fence pencil has a nice little flat edge because then you'll be able to shade a lot faster. So just kind of shade it. You get a nice flat edge on it. You start shading. It's darker here in the eye. Dark here. So. Now the cheek is actually very important because because it's smiling. So this area needs to be dark. And don't worry if it looks a little bit too messy right now. As more you know shading gets in, it's gonna it's gonna everything's gonna come together. Hopefully. All right, so this is dark. So you can see the eye is getting lost, right? It's, it's just not dark enough because once I start shading, you know, everything all the tones is relative to each other, so so now we can now I can just hit it a little bit harder, you know, make it a little bit darker, and also turning my pencil so I can get a little sharper edge. So we get a much harder line on the eyeball. That. It's starting to look like her in that eye. Darker. This is darker. Let's make this a little darker. A little dimple there. Okay, so let's do the other eye. Dark. So I'm turning my pencil a little bit, get a nice sharp edge to hit those, uh, make those areas a little bit darker, cleaner dark line. Eyelashes. And right here is always kind of dark, like it's right behind the nose. Okay, between the eyes, a little bit darker.
not moving down. A little bit harder crease on the nose. And she's smiling, so it's actually very important to capture the, the expression. This area is pretty dark. So I'm going to shade that in a little bit more, a little dimple. Now let's move on to your lip. The lip normally, even though, even if it's you know not that dark, I mean you can kind of just make it dark. Yeah, you know? if nothing else, it will just be like uh, makeup. Now the teeth and stuff, don't draw you know too many too many teeth because it actually gets a little bit creepy if you draw too many or, or a little bit too clear. Um, just a few light lines usually works. So this is darker. So it's coming along. Let's do so to show the outline, I'm gonna shade some of the hair behind it. So you kinda of outline it just with a dark line first and then just go ahead and, and shade in that area so that you have a nice border to work from. So let's just fill in the area. Jumping around a little bit, doing the hair. Seeing those areas a little bit darker. You probably can't see the top of the head, but okay, so this is darker, so I'm just gonna hit that. Underneath the chin, um, it's always darker, so, so I'm just gonna start shading it. All right, so here is the final drawing, and I just kind of pushed it a little bit more, and at the same time, just try to correct some of the features. And I guess the lightness, uh, it's about 80% there, and but overall, it's a, it's a decent sketch for, uh, for this video. And you see that there's a sketchy feel to it. Um, and I kind of like it to keep it that way, so it just, it just feels a lot more livelier, so. Alright, so hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you next time.